Hey, I'm Tina, jazz guitar player from Berlin, and today I'd like to show you 10 intros that you can use for yourself, invent for yourself, and let's get right into it. So this intro is very famous. It's the intro to all the things you are, and it basically consists of that D flat seven sharp nine chord and C seven. And you're just playing those notes in between. Be careful, it starts on the four end and it sort of goes like this. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, three, and four, and one, and two, and 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 three. And then the melody starts on the one. If you have to create an intro on the spot, you always can use the last eight bars of the song that you're going to play. should probably be enough to tell the rhythm section the tempo that you're going to play the tune in and one thing that I did to harmonize the melody is except for playing chords every now and then that's a beautiful chord there as well having to play the B and then you can play a drop two voicing on the lower four strings or what I did I played the tritone substitute and transformed the E minor into E7 sus4 which sounds beautiful so sort of surprising and then Another example is all of me. I'm going to play the last eight bars and at the end of it, I'm going to play a turnaround in time so that I can really play rubato and then give the time and then the song's going to start. Again, I used a tritone substitution instead of playing D minor 7, G7, I played a D flat 7, sharp 9 chord. I really like that sound. Going to the 1, 6, 2, 5 using a C6 chord, it's a very good choice for playing a very clear tonic, I guess. And then I'm wandering down the fret or up. <laughs> to get to this place because I want to play the melody here like and just a very little trick I would like to share is sometimes it's nice to think of different chords if you have been playing a song for a long time so what I'm thinking was all of me in bar three and four instead of only thinking e7 I'm actually thinking b half diminished that gives that chord progression so much more emotion. Really, you can hear it's going to A minor, it's going to A7, but it really sounds like very colorful. And if you're having a lot of dominant seventh chords, sometimes it's nice to give them some extra color. Another thing that you can do if you're playing a Latin tune is of course play a two chord wamp like with Girl from Ipanema. Everybody knows this intro, I guess. So 
but if you don't want to play that same old intro all the time, you could try to play sort of Pachido Alto, that's a rhythm, a Brazilian rhythm that I like a lot and I'm going to play it on one chord, it's like... And then you could spread the rhythm on two chords and use that as an intro like... If you're playing a Latin tune that starts with a minor chord like black or voice, there's always that option of playing this moving five in the chord. <laughs> very beautiful as well and you can end that wham with an E7 sharp 9 again I guess we have a common theme in this video so I'm playing GFG on top of that shell voicing just to make it clear now we're going to start the song so another thing that I stole from Rick Beato is to play a pedal so if the tune is in F for example, like in Have You Met Miss Jones, you're taking the five chord of the key, that would be the C7, and use that root of that chord as your pedal point, so the C, and then play some nice chords on that C like this. So he's basically playing the B flat over the C right, that gives us a C7 sus49, and A over the C, that's like this. It's basically this chord, right? And then this very stretchy chord, it's like a D flat over the C. It's a Phrygian sound going to the C7 sharp 9 chord. But another pedal that I like to play is just to play the C7 sus like this. Then you play the C7 flat 9 13 chord. A Phrygian sound. So you can think like D flat major 7, but transforming it into a D flat major 7 sharp 11 with the C in the bass. And then sort of an altered C7 chord. And then. to use that knowledge on another tune let's take the tune bye bye blackbird We're going to start on the raised four chord as well bye bye blackbird is an f very often and the raised four chord would be the b half diminished and the top note in this case would always be the first degree of the scale of the key that we are in we are in f the first note is the f that's our top note let's try to play an intro here this intro let's do a last variation on the song how deep is the ocean it's in E flat you could also use this intro as an outro like this and then instead of playing that E flat 6 
6 chord, going to play the raised 4 chord. Just play the E major 7 sharp 11 on the flat second degree. So speaking of outros, many tunes, especially on jam sessions and on 3625 progressions. So for example, if you would have been playing all the things you are, um, instead of resolving it, then people would play a C minor chord, which is like on the third degree. And that for hours and it's good to know that that happens and you can think about those four chords practically as a one six two five in a flat you can think about the c minor as a one chord and use all your lines that you would typically play on a one six two five progression the very good question indeed is how are you going to stop this wamp. Maybe that's a topic for another video. Anyways, I hope I could help you a little bit, inspire you to practice the guitar. There's so much to discover, so many beautiful chord progression and I see you around. Bye!